My name is Douglas Goodrich. Aside from being a student at the university, Doug is an outdoors enthusiast. My medical issue is that I have bipolar disorder. With bipolar disorder, Doug experiences spells of anger and sadness. Yeah, rage issues with bipolar disorder for sure. Um, and then huge spells of depression. For me, like I cycle through probably like nine to 13 weeks of really depressed states at a time and then maybe like maybe like three to four weeks of manic states. And it's in, it's in manic states that you get super, super aggro, super angry. Also taking a toll on his social life. I'm just super, super quick to be happy and super quick to be down. Like it's an everyday struggle, but like the everyday struggle is like a microcosm of like the larger cycles too. Doug's disorder has also heavily affected his schooling. My transcript is riddled with E's, I's, W's, F's, every letter that's not connotated with good marks. Like, it's really tough. I've been in school for like five years and I've, yeah, I've had my fair share of needing to drop out of semesters, ask for extensions. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to focus. He's been prescribed everything from Adderall to lithium. With things like Adderall and the benzos and like painkillers, obviously, there's euphoria and addiction associated with that. And yeah, that's something I've dealt with too, trying to like self-medicate and figure out how to balance my life without the aid of mood stabilizers. Hi, uh, I'm Catherine D. So I'm a postdoc currently at the biology department. So I do research. So I'm teaching a class uh, right now called, for psychology called Drugs and Behavior. So it's about uh, mostly the drugs of abuse and the drugs concerned uh, in mental disorders. Cannabinoid receptors have a lot to do with medical marijuana and how they affect the patient. We know that marijuana can affect us uh, because of the, these cannabinoids. It turns out we have cannabinoid receptors in our brain and our body. So uh, it turns out that our body can produce endogenous cannabinoids. And so what marijuana does is that they do exactly what the endogenous cannabinoids do, is they bind to these receptors. By binding to these receptors, they can have different effects. So there's the, uh, the increase in appetite effect, the ability to uh, decrease pain. Many parents across the nation have even treated their own kids with their cancer. Because nausea from chemo and loss of appetite from, from the disease and other drugs, I think it can really help in, in helping people stabilize symptoms so that they can actually have some quality of life even with whatever disease they have. The effects of medical marijuana can also help people just like Doug with mental disorders. You know, help with some mental disorders and, you know, it'll help you relax. It'll definitely, you know, calm you down. Another one of the psycho, uh, psychoactive, I guess, effects is that you feel calm, you, you feel, um, uh, I guess at peace almost for some, some individuals would do that. So it might be for mitigating those symptoms as well. For more information on medical marijuana research at the University of Utah, learn.genetics.utah.edu slash content slash addiction slash cannabis slash.